today I'll be showing you how to make glitter glue art. And I just love it because you can make it so unique and like your own. And I just love it. It's inexpen it's very inexpensive and um I just love it because you can make it unique and you can just hang it in your room because nobody's going to have the same one as you unless they literally copy the exact way you are doing it. But the things you'll be needing are a white piece of paper. But I've never seen somebody do it with colored paper, but if you want to, you can. A heavy object. A heavy object. And last but not least, glitter glue. But where? So the colors that I will be using today are a gold. Oh, they're over here. Are just very simple three colors, and I think they look really cool. And that is these glitter glues are like these guys and they're Crayola Star Dust and this blue right here is called Midnight Dozel and Honey Dropples or something like that. So let's get started. So you want to work on a flat surface. So you're going to get your piece of paper and just you want to have all of your things open and it takes overnight to dry so you're just going to squirt oops it's glitter glue just everywhere and you can like make a design in the way that you will be doing it and as I said, I love it. It turns out so pretty. And, yeah. And it's very simple. So, this is what I squirted on here. And now you're going to simply fold it in half. And I've never tried folding it like that. But I actually will try that next. I'm going to make two. So, and I'm going to fold it like this. So, it's like that. And you just want to make a crease. And I have one tip. When you are folding it, you want to be very careful. Because if you fold where there's paint, it can rip. So this is where your gentle side comes in. You want to need very gentle hands to just press up against the crease like you don't want to be like ugh, and then just um and then it'll rip and you also want to like press down with your fingers but you should be doing this on the flat surface but I'm just doing it right here so you can see so you don't really want to um go like this and start sliding because it will rip as I have it's ripped a lot, a couple times with me. And you just open it up, and look how awesome that looks. And you're just going to let it dry overnight. And now I'm going to be folding it long ways. So you can just pick your colors out and then do it. I don't think it's going to turn out that different. Um, doing it long ways, but it'll turn out, I think, like, different by how it's placed. So, I'm going to get, um, another Crayola, which is different glitter glue, and it is, these are washable. So, it's like this white, kind of. I'm going to be using this green. Oh, and this is raspberry ribble. And I'm just going to be using like a lot of colors. Oh, and this one's good. But with these, sometimes 
I pulled out a green one, and it turned out, like, really watery. And, like, not a lot of glitter. So that's my only thing. And I think it might have been this one. I don't know. And then I'm going to pull out... Rainbow Splash or... Splash. So, you're just going to, as I did before, just score your glitter glue. And you can try it at home. If you can't find any glitter glue at your local craft store or your nearby craft store, then try to make it at your um at your house try to get like if you go to your craft store and then um look in like the glitter if there's like a glitter aisle and you can just get like a um little bucket not little but you're going to need a lot of glitter for it to turn out that good so you want to find like a small container i'm not sure if this will work but if you want to experiment at your house you can try and um, see if it works by getting, like, um, Elmer's glue and then just getting Elmer's glue and, like, squirting it in an area and then just pour glitter all over it and start, like, mixing it. And you can try. So... And if it doesn't work, then I'm sorry for your waste of time. At least you experimented. So that's what it looks like. And I'm going to fold it like a hot dog, as my cousins say. And you just want to crease it. And where you see spots where there's paint, you want to just, like, squeeze it and press on it. And you can also go like this, like, on your flat surface. So this is, like, you can't do this on your bed or you can try it, like, on an airplane or something like that. But I'm not sure. Oh, my gosh. This turns out so cool. And maybe if it looks cool the way that you folded it, you can hang it up that way. And if you want, you can try to fold it all different ways. So if you fold it long ways, then you can unfold it and then fold it another way, like this. Then you can fold it like this to give it different looks, like this. And then you want to flatten it. See, it makes it look so cool, and it dries really awesome, and it dries actually better because it might be a little watery, so you can try folding it all different ways. So these are my creations today, and what you want to do when they dry and you see them in the morning, you want to get in heavy, a heavy object, and this just has like all of our markers in it, and it's actually pretty heavy, and you'll see that it dries. This is one of mine. It dries, like, not that great. So you're going to put it on under the heavy object or, like, a heavy book, like a dictionary or a phone book. And then you're done. Bye.